hello guys uh, welcome to the new lecture uh, here we will see uh, how we will model the remaining three parts right uh, as you see in the screen this is the seventh part which we are going to model uh, this is the cylinder which will uh, reciprocate in the b mention uh, the dimensions i hope it is clear uh, now we shall first uh, uh, complete uh, how uh, complete the base of the cylinder first we will uh, uh, draw the circle and we shall extrude it up to the distance and we will uh, discuss the remaining top uh, layer uh, later first uh, dimension is uh, diameter of the cylinder is 75 yes first we shall create the file give the name spot 7 and uh, select mms uh, for simplicity I am going to take the material to be uh, aluminium uh, once go to the standard materials and select uh, rot uh, now the material has been uh, set up click close now uh, select the front plane and uh, want to the sketch view 75 radius or draw the circle with the radius of 75 and diameter 75 times 2 right uh, extrude it with the length of 100 100 units right accept it now the base part has been uh, over now we should draw the uh, top region for that uh, select the top surface and sketch over it create a reference and uh, uh, from the diagram we can see that the radius of 66.41 is uh, should be temporarily created 66.41 times 2 right and we shall create the 75 radius again now we need to create some temporary regions some random lines uh, this angle we can keep it as 140 hmm? right on uh, similarly we can create the, all the four quadrants right Uh, we have selected the regions once we have finished with it uh, remove the unwanted lines curves be careful while removing it don't think it's complicated it's simple this is the final thing which I have expected uh, you can select your own way in order to achieve it right I uh, extrude it up to some 45 right once we have done with it uh, we can remove the central hole right it's with the radius of 12.5 so select the central region and draw that one choose the reference and from the reference uh, we can take some uh, 20 radius uh, 20 distance and draw the radius 12.5 distance 20 extrude from the equal equally between two surfaces and remove okay uh, we have created now uh, 
we shall create the triangular pattern for the triangular pattern again select the central plane and sketch over it uh, zoom it and um, make some suitable references okay now we need only the re rectangular face we don't need these faces so uh, sketch those faces and remove it I don't need these surfaces right we don't need that one I'll remove it extrude remove right back again make the mirror to the opposite side back super right in order to make some uh, this is somewhat more uh, easier make the make some round options over here you can click the control to select both surfaces make some three right now we can make some five click okay that's all how it would look right we have finished right uh, save it now we shall move on to the next one Ah, uh, this is a very basic part uh, where we can uh, uh, this uh, part will act as a, a cylinder uh, inside which the a piston which the previous part uh, we can take it as a piston it would reciprocate into the cylinder right uh, we shall draw this one uh, this one would be very much easier we can take that material as aluminum for that uh, open a new one give the title as p8 and select mms as usual select the front plane sketch it the dimensions are uh, 76 tiner radius and 85 the outer radius 76 and 85 okay inner radius becomes 76 and the outer becomes 86 right uh, the extrude length becomes 350 okay this is how it would look we can choose the material as aluminium for that standard material and non ferrous choose aluminium or octane close okay this is how the eighth part would be uh, save it and we shall move on to the next one that is the final one Ah, this is this one is basically a plate right uh, this plate would be would behave as a base for our uh, engine mechanism uh, this one would be uh, over this plate all the parts would be assembled uh, since this act as a base plate it needs uh, to uh, absorb all the vibrations that are being created due to the uh, reciprocity action and uh, rotary motion of the crank right so we can uh, choose the material to be cast iron okay uh, let's move on and create this one new and give the title as p9 oh, i have given the default template so please change it afterwards prepare under the material go to now oh, we can we can also change here right uh, here the units has been set up as inch lpm second we can change this one to mms mms right uh, we can change from here also set uh, you can give convert close now see mms has been set up now for the material uh, under the standard ferrous you can choose create cast iron okay 
the dimension of the plate is 700 be the length uh, how we can take it as a height and uh, the base uh, 150 that is 150 cross 700 okay select the front plate sketch it choose the center of the rectangle 1500 be its uh, length what's the height is 700 and extrude distance is 50 700 okay finished now extrude it to 50 right that's all we have created all our necessary parts for our assembly uh, in the next uh, sections we will see how we can uh, assemble these parts when we create one once we have created the uh, necessary parts with, uh, with uh, accurate dimensions uh, we can move on to the assembly and the assembly would be a piece of cake for us right uh, we shall see in the next one how we can assemble all the basic parts together and uh, perform the simulations okay uh, with the help of the drawing sheets provided please practice and if you have if you come across any difficulties please let me know in the below sections uh, happy learning and do practice have a nice day